a hundred years ago, the citizens of, of Ann Arbor planned a boulevard next to, to Allen's Creek, which to them meant a pleasant walking street. It is so important, I think, to have, first of all, a beautiful, a beautiful entrance into Ann Arbor. I really do feel in the, in the center of my being that it is necessary to find a green thread that connects us at any particular moment to the natural world. Any great city deserves a great greenway, and Ann Arbor has the space and has the place for a great greenway. First of all, this is blight. <laughs> I think this is blight on the community right now. The citizens have long dreamed of fixing it up and beautifying it. And we have a chance now with the city owning three parcels. We have these large properties that are currently owned by the city. We just need to hold on to them and start making the connections between them. We need to look at the long range of what's the best. What's the best thing for the community in the long run? Quality of life in the city would be improved to such an extent that 100 years from now, the city would indeed be more vibrant, would indeed be more prosperous. And it just makes the city a more beautiful place. It makes people want to live here more. So it will actually create more commerce and more people moving here if it's, if it's a more beautiful city. I mean, I, I have a small business, and so I'm always looking for things that will help people find reasons to stay in Ann Arbor. When I have an out-of-town guest now and I show off Ann Arbor to them, where do I take them? I take them to show them the, how wonderful Ann Arbor is and a greenway could be one of those places. I don't take them to see the Ann Arbor Railroad tracks, I'll tell you that. People don't enjoy walking on railroad tracks. They can even get arrested for walking on railroad tracks. Wouldn't it be nice to be welcomed here, to have it be a place where I belong? The greenway provides us an opportunity to recover these forgotten landscapes, these places that we've turned our backs from. We allowed industry and the growth of the city, the railroads that, that came in, we covered up waterways, um, and then we turned away from them. I think the thing that, that makes this blight right now is that it's so carefully hidden. Um, and what we'd love to do is, is to reveal the, the beauty of what this space is. I envision a place where uh, there's, there's a lot of green rather than gray, and people can walk rather than drive. A two mile path through the middle of the town. Uh, uh, along an old stream bed. There would be social activity around. There'd be shops nearby. There'd be other people using the area. To have a sense that there's this other route that's off the grid, it beckons people. Um, we have this thing to connect, connect the river to the, the golf courses, the river to Pioneer High School, the river to the football stadium. We're sort of fooling ourselves that we think people aren't already using this pathway. I think any given football Saturday, you can come out here and you'll see that there are an awful lot of people using this pathway all the time. It's not just an aesthetic thing. It's not just a uh, how do we make our town more sort of perfect on paper. It's, it's how do we make it more what it was and more what it could be and more what it should be. Well, railroad tracks and yucky buildings are kind of less beautiful than trees and shrubbery and greenery and places where people can walk and get to work in a nice way. It's funny how you don't even notice it after a while. If something's ugly, the same way if you don't like somebody, you just don't think about them or something. You walk by here and it's just like it's not there. <laughs> you're just thinking about where you're going or where you've been. It's zero and, and then all of a sudden there'll be something there that you like. It's part of your life. If you lose it, a hundred years from now, you won't be getting it back. We've got, we've got to start thinking in the long term. Now that our cities are less industrial or not industrial at all, we have the chance to go back and revisit these areas. We have the chance to, in many ways, remake them, certainly to restore them. It's a huge opportunity. It's, it's, it's one of those opportunities that, I mean, I think it happens once, now. There's no better time than now. So it's, it's, it's a hope. It's a hope against a, a completely paved future. Gosh, 100 years from now, what's this place going to be like? Where, am I, where will my kids' kids' kids be? Passionately, the Greenway is going to be extraordinary. That's my vision of it. Um, it is just one thread in what would hope to be a gigantic tapestry, a tapestry that moves a long ways beyond our town or our state or our country.